Hi, I'm Labby Kasoulis. I'm excited to share with you the first elements of my vision for Cape Breton. As Premier, I will work to ensure Cape Breton has the opportunities to succeed and grow. That's why I decided to spend my first full week of the campaign in Cape Breton, listening to your concerns and ideas. Going forward, I'd like to redouble our campaign's efforts to connect with Cape Bretoners. With this in mind, I'm pleased to announce that I will be opening a second campaign office in Cape Breton. I'm serious and committed to connecting with as many people as possible, discussing bold new ideas and creating a movement. I'm inviting each of you to join my campaign. Please sign up at votelabby.ca. Cape Bretoners have been passionate about the challenges facing the region, housing affordability, the lack of relief for small businesses, high property taxes, and the need for economic growth. Over the coming weeks, I'll be announcing policy positions on these issues that also affect other regions of Nova Scotia. Today, I'm announcing four key policies that will benefit Cape Breton going forward. First, we must support small businesses here and across the province who face financial ruin as a result of COVID-19. In recognizing the importance of our small businesses, I am committing to investing $60 million to reduce the property tax burden on our small businesses across the province. This relief over the next year will ensure small businesses can withstand COVID-19, keep people employed, and pay their taxes to municipalities. Second, I have heard from many Cape Bretoners about the exciting growth of the technology industry. The tech industry is one of the largest employers in Cape Breton. We must support entrepreneurs here and give them support to go on and become the next proto case. And therefore, I am committing to investing $1 million annually to fund new seed investments for Cape Breton startups. Further, I will shift the decision-making for these investments at Innovacorp to be located on the ground in Cape Breton. Third, people from across the region have outlined the positive impact that international students have had in growing the economy. Many have asked me to work towards increasing rural immigration numbers. And as your Premier, I will provide direct staff and resources from ISANS to be located in Cape Breton. This means jobs and decision-making will be local where it belongs. Last, tourism is a large employer in Cape Breton. There are many opportunities to make the region a destination for year-round tourists. I will work with tourism operations to ensure we expand the tourism season beyond the summer months. Cape Smoky is an example of how we can attract winter tourists, but there are many other experiences and adventures to offer. And this will provide year-round revenues for our operators, as well as for businesses who rely on tourism as part of their success. There is no single solution to solve our complex problems. And as Premier, I will bring forward many ideas and programs which collectively will allow every region to grow their economy and share in the success of the province. I'm looking forward to sharing more exciting announcements that will impact everyone from Sydney to Yarmouth. I invite you to join my campaign at votelabby.ca to learn more and to help these announcements become a reality. Thank you.